The Wise Channel celebrates African Americans who did amazing things. Here's the story of how a woman who grew up in a shack with dirt floors... Who are you talking to? I'm talking to them. Oh, them. Hey, everybody. I'm telling them about how a woman who grew up in a shack with dirt floors, no windows, and no running water used hair to become one of the richest women in America. Do you mind if I listen? Sure. Sarah Breedlove had a stressful life. Her family worked all day picking cotton on a plantation. When Sarah was seven years old, both of her parents died. A few years later, she moved in with her brother in Mississippi. That must have been really tough. Well, her story gets a lot better, but not yet. Sarah got married when she was 14 years old and eventually had a daughter named Elilia. Two years later, Sarah's husband died. So Sarah and her daughter moved to Missouri where she worked doing laundry, but she only made a dollar and 50 cents a day. But it gets better, right? Yes, but with all of this stress, Sarah's hair started to fall out. So she started treating her hair with a homemade mix of ingredients. And guess what? Um, it grew back? It grew back! Her special ingredients worked on her friend's hair too. It worked so well, Sarah moved to Denver, Colorado in 1905 to start her own business. That's great. After marrying a businessman named CJ Walker, Sarah changed her name to Madam C.J. Walker, and she went door to door selling her products to black women and showing them how to care for their hair using the Walker method. Wait a minute, is something different about you? Her products let black women choose to wear their hair natural or straight. In case you haven't noticed, sometimes we like to change our look. Now that you mention it, I think you're right. In 1908, Madam C.J. Walker built a factory and beauty school in Pittsburgh. And in 1910, she moved her business to Indianapolis. There, Madam Walker made hair products and trained thousands of women to sell them door to door, just like Madam Walker did herself when the business first started. Girl, let me help you with your hair. Wow, she was a great businesswoman. And her business provided jobs for over 40,000 women in America Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, Panama, and Costa Rica. She was international. She was also the richest African-American woman of her time and one of the richest women of any race in the whole country. Her business made several million dollars in today's money. So she went from picking cotton on a plantation to being the richest black woman in the country? But she wasn't selfish. She showed other women how to start their own business and when she died, she left two-thirds of her money to charity. Wow! What's going on over there? I'm so inspired by Madam C.J. Walker. I had to do something to honor her. How about you just wrap up the video? Okay. Madam C.J. Walker didn't let her challenges stop her. She went from picking cotton on a plantation to being one of the richest women in America. And most importantly, she helped a lot of people along the way. Good job. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's talk. Madam C.J. Walker's life was very hard at first. What do you do to get through tough times? The same person who made a dollar and 50 cents a day doing laundry went on to become one of the richest women in America. What does that tell you? If you had a lot of money, would you keep it all for yourself or give some to charity? Why? Have you subscribed to The Wise Channel? If not, subscribe today so you don't miss out. I think it's time for another hairstyle. What should I do next? I gotta hurry up and make my next hair appointment. Have a great day. Bye.